guys, it's Brit tonight. We're here with an update on Gypsy Rose. She had a really big announcement that she made and some people are calling it strategic. Some people are concerned about it. Some people are happy about it. Some people are just enraged. And I had quite a few different feelings. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so it's been almost a week since we've heard from Gypsy Rose over on Instagram. And earlier today, she came on with an announcement. And just that period of time of her being quiet, I found to be a little interesting. Is is this part of her, what her PR team is telling her to do? Hey, you know, like there are a lot of people that just aren't into that and aren't into your uh, social media and all this stuff that's going on. So why don't you give it a rest for a few days and come back with new content after a few days? Is that a possibility? Sure. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, her PR team should be fired, in my opinion. I think that it has been an absolute just three ring circus as to what's been going on with her since she has been released. There has just been way too much thrown at her and at the public and at her becoming this like overnight sensation. There's just been way too much thrown at it way too quickly. And I find the whole thing to be very concerning. Two things can be true at once. I can stand on the side of saying Gypsy Rose was a victim of abuse by her mother and she deserves peace and positivity and good mental health and therapy and love because of all of the things that she experienced. However, I'm also standing on the side of I don't think that she should become the next overnight sensation and the next um, person that is in everyone's algorithm and everyone is being pushed Gypsy Rose content because she is the next, you know, the next influencer. Like, I don't think that Gypsy Rose should be making millions of dollars off of brand deals, sponsorships, all of this stuff. So I, I stand on both sides of that. Let's talk about her announcement. So I want to watch the video with y'all and then I will give my thoughts. This is Pixie. She is an eight week old baby mousey puppy. Um, she is a sweetheart and she's already spoiled rotten. I'll put her back in bed because she was asleep. <laughs> All right, so this is her the night that we got her, uh, which was like three nights ago or so. And so this is her sleeping in her bed. I put her in her little bed to go to sleep and everything. We went to PetSmart, bought everything she could possibly need, everything puppy. Um, and then by the end of the night, they sprawled out on my side of the bed. Like she owns it. <laughs> I had like that much part of the bed. She's such a sweetheart. Um, Ryan and I just wanted to get something that we both can kind of have um, to take care of and just have as an addition to the family. We're not ready to have a baby yet. So this was like the next best thing. Um, so thanks for watching and you know, I'm sure I'm going to post many, many more puppy videos and pictures to come. So Bye. I have a couple of thoughts. Number one, I always think that people with really large platforms, it's such a great opportunity for these people who have a large voice to be able to spread awareness about animal shelters that are overflowing with dogs and cats in need of homes. Um, you know, my God, I just couldn't imagine having that many eyes on me and not even using it as an opportunity not to say, oh, you have to adopt a shelter dog, you have to do it or you're the worst person ever. Um, but like I said with Alicia Doherty a little while ago, it could have been an opportunity to still 
use your platform for good and spread awareness about shelter dogs. And, you know, my God, could you imagine one of her local shelters would have loved the opportunity to receive um, advertising from Gypsy Rose. That would have been such a cool way to be an advocate and to have that many eyes on you and just see this instead is an interesting choice, especially when you're surrounded by PR people. The second thing I want to say is shopping with PetSmart. I'd like to go on a little bit of a rant when it comes to PetSmart for just a moment. I understand that in some areas of the country, PetSmart is the only choice. You either have PetSmart or you have the grocery store. I am not talking to you. I am talking to somebody like Gypsy Rose who has tons of you know, financial backing, can have anything shipped to her front door overnight and not have to worry about shipping costs or anything like that. I cannot stand PetSmart. I do not like PetSmart. I do not like Petco. I do not like giving a penny to either one of those what I would consider big box pet stores because number one, they have an um, absolutely awful history when it comes to pets dying that are in their pet stores, whether it be fish, birds, small animals like hamsters. There have been so many situations of uh, people literally finding living fish in a dumpster behind a pet smart. I'm not going to include those videos because I know that that's very upsetting, but if you care to do the um, research for yourself and look more into it, it's all out there. There's tons of videos, tons of information. So again, I go back to this would have been a really amazing opportunity to advertise for some of your local pet supply stores in the state of Louisiana, or hey, even online boutiques who need a little bit of help adver with advertising. Maybe they don't have the budget to work with a lot of influencers, but they could have worked with Gypsy Rose and this could have been a thing like, there could have just been a little more planning. It seems like this was a very quick decision and I worry about quick decisions being made with Gypsy's history. And a lot of people are saying, you know, this is totally a PR stunt. She's trying to get people to, you know, really like her because like the dog community is such a kind of a tight knit community on social media. Like, you know, if you have dogs, like you understand one another, it will open her up to a brand new audience of people who have dogs. That is certainly possible. But for me, I just feel like this was a very quick decision. And the fact that she's saying that this is kind of like the next best thing to having a human baby. Listen, I'm here all day to advocate for the work and the money and the time and patience and training that goes into having a dog, especially a puppy. But the, the issue that I have seen happen numerous times is people go this route and then they end up getting pregnant and the dog takes a back seat. And then you have a baby and a young dog in the same household where, okay, the baby needs a lot more time and attention. We haven't even gotten through properly training or giving enough attention to this dog. So it ends up, the dog ends up at the shelter and the people focus on their, you know, human child. And that's just the way that things go. For me, I just am not really into this. Um, I think it was a missed opportunity. I think that it was a missed opportunity to spread awareness about shelters, whether or not you went with a shelter or maybe you used your platform to do something good aside from pop on here with a puppy and, um, you know, freaking show this little dog and then show, you know, give a, basically a free ad to PetSmart, which is one of the worst pet supply stores that exists. Um, especially when you have the means and the, um, ability to support better businesses with better ownership. There's a lot of criticism in the comments. Somebody said she definitely supported an unethical breeder. This is a no from me, adopt, don't shop. Somebody said girl gets out of jail and immediately starts supporting backyard breeding. Somebody else said I knew it would be a doodle. 
Gypsy, you did not get a designer mutt. I obviously think that the dog is very cute. I wish nothing but the best, specifically because I would hate to see a, another dog let down by its owners because they were unprepared. It's bad enough that she is, you know, up here on her huge platform that was handed to her right out of prison. And here she is, you know, literally supporting terrible breeders. Like, doodle breeders are like people want to have issues with breeders as a whole um at the top of the list for me are doodle breeders doodle breeders are absolutely awful and i'm concerned about this situation i obviously hope for the best but i think that it's a very interesting choice and i think that it's a big big missed opportunity and just kind of embarrassing considering that she has so many people around her that are kind of this PR marketing machine. Not one person pulled the plug on this and said, you know what, there is a better approach. I have some ideas and we should get to the drawing board before this goes through. Um, yeah, I think this is a disaster in a lot of ways. So. Either way, that's what's going on with Gypsy. I think that with this dog thing and other things that led us to the to this point that I have already talked about in prior videos, people are just kind of over it. People are over it. They were here to give her a chance, and I, I think that that ship has sailed away, and the train has left the station, so to speak, and people are just kind of over it. Um, you know, she has 8.3 million followers. What are you doing with that platform? What are you doing with that platform? That's what people want to know. And I think the people are just being very quickly let down. So that's how I feel. Um, yes, she is still a victim. Yes, she should be able to heal and have positivity and all of those good things. But that also doesn't um, excuse her from being accountable for bad decisions that are being made current day. And that's where I'm at with the whole thing. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye.